Uh, don't mind me, I'm just listening to the music. You go through and start the game. I'll catch you up. <laughs> Welcome to Sunless Sea. Most ship's equipment uses up hold space when it's not equipped. Ooh, crabs with glowing webs. How very nice. Oh, here we are again, back in port. We had a little walk around. We had uh, a chance to learn what the world is like and the controls and how to do a few bits and pieces. We got our trousers handed to us by a pirate, but here we are back in port. Let's see what we can do. Collect messages from the harbour master. So, okay then. Someone wants to sign on. Something has changed in the Neath. We'll find out what's going on there in a second. Okay. Now, we sent that, um, we sent that captured ship on, so if we go back to our lodgings, we should be able to make some uh, money out of that. Let's see what's going on here. We can read the morning papers, rest in a room above the blind helmsman, purchase an elegant hound house, though we can't do that one right now. Ah, long-awaited prize money. A letter, Captain, we have assessed the da-da-da in accordance with the law of the Z, da-da-da. Pleased to enclose you, money order four. From the total value of the prices you sent home, the Crown and the Bazaar have adducted the tax prize Price tariffs, running costs, repairs, and misery surcharge. Nevertheless, a good sum remains. Spend it in good health. So, we have gained two crew. Yes, good, because we were down to five. And 50 new echo, which was almost as much as we had. So that was good. Right, we can't write a will yet. We can't adorn our lodgings. We can't convert a collection of outlandish artifacts into an heirloom. We can't write a song as a Z. We can't retire. We can go back to the city, but let's not do that just yet. Let's read the morning papers. The Echo Bazaar, that enigmatic marketplace, has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress has forbidden singing in the street outside her palace. The anarchists of the Calendar Council have inexplicably dynamited the drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroyed a nest of nail-biter wasps. Lost one terror? Still high, though. Our fragment remains unchanged, and we have one recent news, and I think I know what I can do with that. Excellent. So, let's rest to reduce some terror and heal a wound. Okay, we've lost another point of terror. And we've lost 10 Echo. Okay, so it costs us to rest. Okay. Right. And that's the rest of that we can't do, so let's go back to the city. Alright. London. Uh, what's this, actually? A very fine evening to you, Captain. A very fine evening to you, Captain. My... What you might call Mentor is very fond of adventurous Z captains and would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation on account that he is so fond of Z captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock sends a dray piled high with fuel and surprise. Ooh. This is interesting. You know, at the start of the game you could perhaps use a bit of help, but what is that help going to cost us later on? Who is this patron? What is there a catch? He runs a fine and very liberal establishment across the river, what is much patronized by sailors and men with wit, wit and vinegar. A public house, and there is no obligation to speak of it. My patron would hope only that you remember him kindly. I suppose that if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I would not imagine you would refuse your, your offer. Hmm tell you what. Let's do it. Let's see if we have 15 points of space in our hold. Oh, um, cargo 7 of 40. Yes, we do. Okay. So, let's accept this offer, shall we? 
There we go. Accept the dispensation. Well, my patron hopes should you find these little gifts to your liking, and he expects that perhaps some day you might call, choose to call on him at the Medusa's head. Should that day come, we will make you very welcome and give you any safe conduct you might require. Good evening to you. We've gained five supplies. We've gained ten fuel. That's good. And we've possibly got an extra bit of storyline. Not bad at all. Right, what can I find in London? Right, oh, you can go visit the Admir Admiralty's survey office. They pay for information from sea captains. Find out what and how. Hunters keep. I trust the sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of her enduring majesty. Notionally. Okay, so we gain some Admiralty's favour. Your visit to Hunter's Keep has been confirmed by the Admiralty Record Office. And we've gained five Echo. Very nice. And... Venderbrite. And yes, that's about the same. We've got more Admiralty favour. Okay, and what do we do here? Right, so we need two two admiralty favour to ask if there's any particular needs. Right, let's see if what they need. This port. Speak to our agent there in return. We'll see that you're rewarded. So we need to go to Galder's Morn. Okay. What else can we do in London? We've done the admiralty. We can cruise in the wolf stack docks that will reduce our terror. Might run into trouble or romance. Sea shanties, good companionship and the warmth of a pub fire. Ooh, that cost us a lot. And only quite gave us reduction of five terror. That's a shame. Right, let's get some repairs. That's an important one. Okay. Alright, so we can go to. Alright, it's going to cost us 15 echo, I presume. Right, then Lead Better and Stain Rod will do a repair. Um, oh dear, Cotterell and Heather, Heather Sage Shipyard will do cost more. Admiralty Yards, but we need a bit more favour. But. Yes. Okay, they all heal up to 25 points. It's going to be interesting to see the difference. Um, employ Rattus Faber Engineers. <laughs> the rats of fallen London are remarkably skilled engineers, and they know ships well. They are not, however, reliable. Payment is in kind, not currency. They will repair some of your hull. How much? Difficult to say. Okay, so sometimes lurking on the docks of London, unlocked with more than, no more than zero wretched mog. Okay, the cat scares them off. All right, unlocked with ten ten times supplies. You, you have nine. Okay, we need to buy some more supplies for this to work. Okay, mm. let's buy a point of surprise. I want to see what this one's like. So not shipyard, shops. Zoop. Okay. Um, seaside shipside provisioners. There we go. All right. So, buy for ten. All right. Uh, did that make a difference? Ah, there we go. There we go. We now have ten supplies. Okay. So, back to the shipyard. Uh, yeah, there. Where are you? Um, that one. There we go. Okay. Here, ratty, 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 ratty. Here, ratty. You've gained a terror. Interesting. And it cost me all of my supplies. But I gained thirty-one holes, so that wasn't actually that bad. But that was very expensive. Um, getting back those 10 supplies is going to cost me what? 
A hundred? Yes, I didn't... That, that was not a good deal. But never mind. Rats sweep over your ship like a tide. Day and night their tiny tools click. Your crew step over them cautiously. Eventually the rat tide withdraws. How good a job have they done? Okay, so before we leave, we need to buy more supplies. But... Hmm. But we do have a hull of 66 now, which I think is acceptable. Okay. Right, we're done with that. Uh, what else can we do here? Offer passage to tomb colonists. We know where Vendor Bite is. We can do that. We now have three tomb colonists. It is oddly difficult to die and fall in London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these ones on board in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. Hmm. Okay. Right. We have a lot of crew. I don't particularly want to recruit anyone else yet, so let's buy a few supplies. One, two, three, four, five. That leaves us with very little money. Uh, we have plenty of fuel. Is there anything we might likely to be able to sell? No. Wolf stack exchange, mushroom wine, and prisoner's honey. But both of those are a bit too expensive for me right now. The Iron and Misery Company. Nope. Okay. I think we're back to exploring. Righty ho. Let's go. Well, it makes sense that we go back to Vanderbite quickly, and then we'll go and explore around. So, here we are. Off we go again. We need to go... Ooh, what's this? The Hungry Dead. Your cook is outraged. One of the tomb colonists is woken from his coffined rest and found his way to the stores. When the cook came across him, he had consumed a half wheel of cheese and an alarming quantity of suet. Fling the villain overboard or return him to the hold? Well, if he's cost me that much, then I int intend to sell him and get some money from him. There we go. <sighs> Expostulating all the way. If you had provided me with more commodious quarters, if the ship did not pitch so abominably, a man grows bored, you know. Death is so deathly dull. And so forth, and so forth. It is relief when the cloffin ridge closes. If only you could nail it shut. So we've lost the supplies. That's not good. Incidentally, if we die in this game, we die in this game, we have to start again. So, let's try not to die in this game. So, back north again. I thought I'd go along the coast this time because I didn't explore it in the last game. So, here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yes, we sneak past them. Pick Finger Wastes. What a nice name. Alright, so, let's have a quick look at the map while we're here. We are here. We need to go up here to Vendabite, so we'll just go across the coast. Up, and stop there. And then... I think we'll see what is up here in the darkness. Right. Davies Bay. Hmm. That looks like there's a... Is there a port there? No, there's nowhere to dock. Or is there? Yeah, okay, looks like a, a lot of building. Caressa's Point. Yes, there's nowhere to dock here, is there? What a shame. Alright, come on. Yes, around we go. 
So, what are you guys all thinking of this so far? Here we are at Vendor Bytes. Right, let's just slow down so we can turn around. Gosh, this thing has got a terrible, terrible turning circle. Looks like we're fighting. Yes. Fight! Continue. Okay, let's do the usual thing. We might as well do two of those and then we'll do... That needs a hundred lights, so we'll do two of those. There we go. So we illuminate and then we shoot at. Right. First lot has got our illumination to 24. And so uh, that's next one we'll get us to 48. That's not good enough. So we'll do one of them. Then we'll do two of them. Uh, it seems that these works better for, than us, so they have probably got better mirrors stat than we have. That's iron, that's mirrors there. 27. It's not fantastic, really, is it? Right, last shot. Should do the trick. Boom. There we go. Uh, oh dear, our terror's back up to 34. Okay, so we'll dispose of the corpses. Let's put our terror down to 32. Good. Right, can I please dock now? Thank you very much. Alright, here we go, back to Vendorite. Okay. Dock Colony of Vendorite. We cannot have a dusty glass of wine because we don't have enough echo. We can explore Vendorite. We can visit the Grand Curator. But the first thing I want to do is sell off these tomb colonists. Is there anything to buy? Uh, no. Supplies and fuel. Yes, we'll have one. And yes, let's have two. Extra supplies. So, nothing in this game seems to be much in the way of commodities. I mean, there's some soup and things like that can be I can buy, but uh, most of it is just stuff, things, um, knowledge, thoughts, memories. Interesting. Right, that's enough of the shops. Let's... There we go, the story, that's the one I want. Let's go and explore Vendorvite, see what, I, see what happens. Here they favour candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand here enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One of the building, one building in three seems to be abandoned. Okay, what do we have here? Captain, I'm a good seaman. I'm yours if you'll have me. Will you have me? I'm hungry. I'll work hard. He seems likely enough, if a little ragged and sorrowful. So, Okay, we could take him on board, or we can leave him here. Uh, strangers are too chancy. You've heard stories about things in the shape of sailors. You or you just don't like his face. I think I do like his face. Let's take him on board. You won't be sorry. I'll work double watches. Ask anyone. They'll, they'll tell you I'm a good name. Yes, yes. Eventually you get him to stop talking. His enthusiasm is promising, if a little pitiable. Right, so we've gained one crew. Very nice. The Zayla... Ah, the Zayla who came begging you for a berth. He's done good work, this one, but he's keeping a little shrine to the salt, the nameless god of the horizon at the back of the hold. Do we permit it, or do we forbid it? I'm all for religious freedom. You let him keep his salt circle and, and his chalked arrow. That night, as you stand on the foredeck, a soft breeze comes out of the east. The salt's direction tossles your hair. Passes. Nice. Anything else to do here before we move on? Well, there is the, the true currency of this game. Gossip. 
Along the coast of the Untersee, it's remarkably hard to die. Oh, we've read that one. Um, okay. Okay, yes, wait, wait, we have a port report. I think we can take that back to um, the Admiralty. All right, brilliant. All right, I think I'm done here. Yes, I'm done here. Let's go. Okay, let's have a quick look at the map. Uh huh. Um, let's go into the black here. Let's see what's has happening in the world. Discovered Kant's Abyss. Oh dear, and a load of bats that speed up a little bit. Pickett's Buff? Pickett's Bluff, rather. Oh, what's that? Should I be worried? Probably. Uh, it's just weather, I think. So, here we go. We're going to follow the coast up a little bit and see what we find. What we do have is plenty of fuel. So, that's not a problem. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, what on earth is that? Mm, it doesn't like us. Sensor's Arch. I think I can go under that. I can indeed go under that. Fed the crew. <laughs> right, here's a dock. Wither. Let's go and see what it is in Wither. Hopefully something that will reduce terror, because that is looking like a big problem for us. And here we go. Welcome to Wither. Right, we have Wither, and we have the House of Question. Let's do Wither first. Okay, we can explore the town, we can gather intelligence, we can do shore leave which we can't do because we don't have enough echo. So let's explore the town. Wither is a quiet, chilly town of grey stone and closed courtyards. The people are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. They have the irritating habit of answering a question with a question. Here and there, there are odd sights tucked away. A contest of riddles. Fisher folk, sailors, and a shady couple of likely pirates. And that is a drowny down by the water's edge. They all sit around a fire at the Z's edge, passing around a bottle of something viciously back. They are wagering on riddles. Will you join them? Alright, what do we do? We can walk away. We can be bet an echo. But that is a chancy challenge. Okay, we only need one echo mind. We can seek a real challenge for ten echoes, which is a highlight, and attempt one of the riddles of Pearl, which we don't have nearly enough echo for. Let's try one. I can lose an echo. Okay. Ah, we win. It would have been nice to see the, the riddle, but okay. A fisherman, a cat shadow. Uh, okay, uh, a fisherman grumbles but pays up. Um, we have gained an echo. We've gained ten fragments, but it looks like we've gained a secret. Um, we succeeded in a pages challenge, and that's all for now. Excellent. Back to the weather. Let's gather some intelligence. Are you asking for any particular reason? At what time of day? Is that your hat? Might it be six? It could be six. Eventually you cobble together enough impl implication and supposition to compose a report. Gosh, that sounded painful. The, cit <laughs> the citizens of Wither enjoy questions so much that they also always answer a question with another question. This can make intelligence gathering frustrating. Right, we don't have um, the echo for a shore leave in Wither, so let's go to the house of the, of the question. 
Northwest of Withertown, the House of the Question stands alone. Here, the initiates of the house make offerings to the three gods of the Deep Z, and perhaps a fourth, who is not a god. It is the one place in the Wither where you can sometimes get a straight answer. For a price. So, we can gain the storm's attention, but we don't have the right things for it. We can gain stone's attention, but again, we don't have the right things for it. We can ask about the drowned man if we had more money. We can defy the gods. Hmm. Uh, hmm. This is interesting. Spit on the floor. Curse the priests. Overturn an altar. This will increase your iron and hearts by five each, up to 110. And set your terror to zero, but you will never be able to remove any god's curse or benefit from in certain other ways. Perhaps not. Right. Well, I think that is where we stop today. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have, please subscribe, please like, please come back. I've been Simon, and this has been Sunless Sea.